Hi everybody. Today I will show you how to make a beautiful mesh gradient in Swift UI. And I'll show you various techniques to make mesmerizing animation with gradients. Alright, let's begin. To follow along, you can start by creating a new Swift UI project and work on contentview.swift. Let's start by creating a mesh gradient. There are many ways to create a mesh gradient, but 99% of the time, we'll use this one. Let's take a look at the properties. Width is the number of colors per row. Height is the number of colors per column. Points array is points of colors. The number of points must equal to width time height. For example, there must be six points here. The zero zero is top left. One zero is top right. The 0, 1 is bottom left and 1, 1 is bottom right. And for other points, they should sit between these corners. The colors in the array are the one we use for our gradient. Each color is located at the corresponding point in the points array above. For example, red is at 0, 0. Blue is at 1, 0 and so on. We can add more colors to the gradient, but I think 3x3 three three mesh is a sweet spot. You can see it doesn't look good when the property is done mesh, so be careful. Let's change to the soft colors. When we think of animation in Swift UI, we usually reach for add state or wrap changes inside a width animation block. But today, I will show you a different approach using Timeline View. Timeline View updates our views based on time, making it perfect for continuous animations. It offers three update frequency options. For our gradient effect, the best choice is the plane that animation, which provides the smoothest experience. We can access the current date directly from timeline view's context for fine grain control. To perform the animation, it's best to transform the date value using a continuous function such as sine or cosine. Don't be scared, it's actually simple. Looks pretty cool, right? I'll try to add a repeating animation with a boolean. Well, it doesn't look so good. So, for a repeating animation, I'll combine timeline view with a different approach. I'll go with the state wrapped inside with animation block. And that's how you create a beautiful and repeating animation with a mesh gradient. Simple but efficient. Please like and subscribe and see you in the next one.